Hello and welcome to another hoof care video from the Hoof GP, me. <laughs> Smash the subscribe button if you like videos like this that are anything to do with hoof care and the world of farming in general. And enjoy the rest of this video which is featuring Aaron Lavoy, a hoof trimmer and hoof trimming instructor based in Wisconsin, USA. So as you can see, Aaron lives in an extremely different part of the world from me. Where he lives is extremely flat compared to Scotland. Today he's joining Burling's Bovine Farm. As you can see, it's a large scale farm. They actually milk around 1,300 cows and do extremely well at it. A lot of the reasons I started this channel is there's a lot of negative things in the press about dairy farming and a farm like the one that Aaron is trimming on today really showcases that large scale dairy farming can actually work for the cows. These cows are extremely healthy. You can see the vitality in them. You can, you can see. see how well cared for they are. Anyway, the main feature of this video is actually Aaron's crush and you can see I'm setting it up here. As you can see, it is far, far bigger than mine. It's um, more capable than, capable than mine, to be honest. And it actually suits two people working on it because it's so capable. He's got a bigger setup than me and you can see him setting up his own race, which he carries with him all the time. The fella in the red jersey is actually Pedro, his right hand man, and that's them actually wrapping the bandages around the grinders, ready for the day ahead so that they can hold most of the muck. I actually pressure wash mine, but they, these guys choose to wrap them instead. So there's Pedro bringing in the first cow and as you can see that first foot lifts up no problem at all. There's a few differences to the way that Aaron trims from the way I trim. He does trim in the Dutch style but he actually um, changes things around and he actually does a thing called the axial wall adaptation which I can go into in much more detail in another video. You can see that Pedro actually starts modelling before he starts trimming with the grinder. So there you can see Aaron trimming that front left foot and you can see the cow exit in the crush. This crush is remote controlled so it's all automated, everything works really really well. It's very fast and slick and cow comfort is extremely good. I'm actually looking at buying a crush like this fairly soon. Um, the main reason is actually the front feet fixation. It's much much better than mine, it's far superior in respects that you can get right in round about the front of the claw whereas mine is based on a block so it sits like that and I can't actually reach the front dorsal wall as well as I could. There are ways that I can do it but his crush is much much easier to do. Aaron and Pedro actually alternate, they don't always trim the same feet, they just kind of mix and match wherever it's appropriate. Um, as you can see in the video, Aaron is trimming some of the front feet and some of the back ones and Pedro is doing the same. Now this cow, you can see there, she's extremely comfortable. These shoots are really, really good for cow comfort. There's rubber everywhere so it's nice and comfortable. And if you look there, the leg attachment at the back is lifted by that hook so there's no constriction around the leg. Now here's the front foot being lifted. As I said, that was a bit quick so let's slow it down. So as you can see, the clamp goes in. Those two clamps clamp around her four legs, the bottom of her leg. You lift up that ram on the left hand side of the screen, lifts itself up, pulling the rope and up comes the cow's foot. It actually comes up the exact way that she would lift it naturally. So it comes up, out, round and up again. And as you can see there's Aaron trimming and you have full access to the whole way around the hoof. It really is fantastic. I would love something like this in my life. <laughs> that makes me sound pathetic doesn't it? So as I said Aaron trims all over the world and trains many many people. He was actually trained by a guy called Bill Copper and who is a fantastic guy and one of the most knowledgeable people around. Here's the cows lying in their sand bed. Sand is an extremely good for cows to be lying in and the amount of cows that are lying in cubicles there really really showcases that. Look at that girl, she does look happy 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 doesn't she? 
So anyway, that's the end of the day for Pedro and Aaron and Owen in the back, who did most of the filming for this day. I'm sure they'll be ready to go and wash up the shoot and get ready for another day tomorrow. <laughs>